This is how you use Zapier in your fitness business to save you a lot of time and also a lot of headaches. Lead management is something people get wrong all the time. Simply getting a lead from your website is not enough. You may have times when you're out of the business, Magical. just not checking your emails or whatever it might be. You still need to be able to get in contact with them straight away. What this automation does when a new lead fills out a form in a type form, it will then add them to a lead list and then it will send a message to someone in Slack. So if you have multiple coaches working for you, you want them to know straight away that someone has applied so that they can contact them and just start a conversation. Now, number two, like I just mentioned, sometimes you're going to be getting leads over the weekend. We want to be able to nurture those leads if you're not going to get to them in time. So you're going to get a lead in over the weekend. It's just from your type form or whatever form intake software you use. It's going to then check to see what day of the week it is. It's all also going to do that with a basic amount of Python and then it proceeds if that is the, the correct result. If it is Saturday or Sunday, it's going to send the information through. What it's going to then do, it's going to send a specific message to that person via an email saying, hey, thank you so much for your inf interest in our fitness program. We're thrilled for you to take the next step. Our team is currently out of office for the weekend, but we'll be back first thing Monday morning. And then it just creates a bit of a touch point saying, hey, we're humans, we have a weekend as well. What it then does is delays for 15 minutes and then sends a personalized. Uh, it just says, man, you must have been really keen to apply on a Saturday. I just wanted to reach out personally and say hello and send through my booking link for us to jump on a call. I'm XYZ owner of XYZ. I'd love to discuss your goals further. I know my calendar doesn't have availability for Saturdays, but Monday or Tuesday should have some openings. So what this does, it aims to provide a human element to an automation. I'm so if you ever boy. see this email come through, it looks very custom and it's like not formal at all. A, a lot of automations do look very, very perfected. However, we want to try and avoid that because we want to seem as human as possible. I'm a real this next app takes AI to the next level and uses it to generate macros. Crazy. And when someone fills out your onboarding application, so when they're becoming a client, they're going to fill out information for you, like their height, their weight, their activity level, where they kind of want to go if they want to lose fat, whatever it is. Then we can then take that information, feed it into AI and get it to send a updated macros for that person. So what this would be beneficial for is if you are someone who likes to save time, you are using a like a Harris Benedict calculator or something like that to determine someone's macronutrient goals for fat loss, you can use AI to do that as well. So when you sign someone up, instead of having to manually calculate it, you can just get it to send you an email with your new client's details instantly. What it does, it takes the information, it then sends a prompt in AI saying, take the goal of losing weight for someone who's 99 kilos. And these are just placeholders from the onboarding type form. And then please output the, the following variables in calories, protein, carbs, and fats. And then it's then set to send an email to you with the information that you've asked it for. This one's super cool because when you are onboarding people, it takes a lot of the manual labor out of figuring out what calories they need. So number four, one of the best things about online coaching is being able to be there for your clients more than just one session a week, like an in-person trainer. Now we want to be able to motivate those clients on the daily. So they feel like we are super involved in their journey. And sometimes that takes the form of a motivational message. So just do it. But sometimes it's hard to think of those motivational messages every single day and be reminded to send them. So what this does, it uses Zapier's internal scheduling again to check the time of day, create a motivational speech or motivational quote for you to send to your client. Now, what it does at 7 a.m., it will then send a, prom a prompt to OpenAI once again. And it says, please create a motivational message for me. Please give me a motivational quote. It will then send that quote to you. So at 7 a.m. every morning, you'll get a fresh motivational quote that you can then take back to your clients and send to them and hopefully keep them more engaged with your service, putting you front of mind and making sure that they are sticking to their goals. Number five is an alternative to the earlier automation I did using AI. Instead of using AI to figure out someone's calories, it does use a little bit of code to implement the Harris Benedict method of determining calories. Is when we take the client's information during their onboarding, where they give us all the details we need, we can then use a little bit of code in here, again, in Python to code a bot that will essentially do the calculation for us. This just does calories, not specific macros. 
So if you're looking to do that, it would probably be best if you were using used AI. But if you're just looking for calories and a bit of a guidance for your clients, you can use this. So what it does, it takes the inputs in from your client's onboarding form and then inputs it into the code here where it figures out basically um, their maintenance calories. Then it just sends you an email again with your uh, client's daily macros. This next one is my absolute favorite. Nice. Simply because I dislike the trainerize interface. I just don't love it. So I try and automate as much stuff as I can into it. So what happens is when your client's filling in that onboarding type form, they then will have their trainerize account created for them. Now, this is such a game changer when it comes to onboarding because you can get people started so much quicker uh, within reason because you don't want them to think like they're just a number, but you can take their information, onboard them, and then send them a message saying welcome. So once I've filled out their onboarding, it then goes through Zapier to connect to Trainerize and creates a new client, which will then be active. They will also be sent their onboarding through Trainerize as well. So they have their welcome email from Trainerize where they can download the app. So you don't need to worry about that. But then find that client it's just created using the email as a search step. And then we'll send them a personalized message saying welcome to the team, <laughs> just something simple. You could go one further with this. You could add in a AI prompt where you could take their name and say, create me a welcome message for someone whose name is Matthew, for example. And then you can send message in here and it would be uh, completely random every time, which is kind of crazy. And that's why it's my favorite one. If you are finding this useful and you're getting a lot of value out of it, then thank you so much for paying attention and getting this far. Uh, if you were looking to learn all of the things I know to do with automation, implement Go High Level and Zapier into your business, uh, follow the link below and book a call with me. We can see how we can get you 20, 30, 40 extra consults per month in person or online but just feel free to book a call and we can have a chat. So our seventh automation is positive reinforcement. Whenever someone accomplishes a task, we want them to be rewarded for their efforts. A major one is wait goal hit. So as soon as they hit that goal, they check in. It sends a little delay in Zapier. So it waits for about an hour and then sends a custom message saying, yo, I just saw you hit your goal today. That's so freaking cool. Um, and then it just sends that through. So. This one's really cool because even if you, even if for example, you don't work on the weekends and someone weighed in and, and got that, you don't have to manually message them, but they still feel, feel reassured that they did the right thing and they stuck to their goals and they're achieving it. So that's a massive one. All right, so number eight, we're starting to get into the real nitty gritties of these ones. This is a self meal plan creator for clients. So if you are someone who programs macros for a client, and you want them to be able to choose their own foods. This is a way that they can get their own meal plan made to them. The way that it works is you'll have a form specific for meal plan creation in your type form. It will then ask for them to prompt their calories and daily macros. It will have a bunch of different options for them to choose what they want to eat. So it could be like chicken, beef, rice, and you would have a multiple choice selection. What then would happen is you would send a prompt to OpenAI saying, create a meal plan with 2000 calories and 200 grams of protein using the following selections of food. And then it will send an outbound email to that person so that people can go in, create their own meal plan essentially, and get an email to them within seconds. But number nine, we're looking to create a contract after payment has been received. So when you've signed up a new client, we want them to pay you. So this automation will take your onboarding form. It will then create a Stripe subscription and send a contract at the same time. So they have filled out their form of when you've signed them up. It will then send a contract via eSignatures.io. This allows you to have templates in there so that you can have your contract ready to go and it will just plug in their name from the type form and their email and that will be sent to them instantly. It will then create a subscription in Stripe based on how much per week you want to charge them. This could also just be create an invoice in Stripe as well. If you're doing high ticket coaching, you can then send a custom invoice of $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, dollars whichever you would like. It's so that this contract is binding as soon as possible and you can start getting paid as soon as possible because you don't want to be chasing people up for money. Show me the money!
Now, number 10 is a little bit different. As we all know, content is a massive part of online coaching within the last couple of years with the rise of TikTok and Instagram Reels and YouTube and YouTube Shorts. Content is so important to get yourself out there and show the world how good of a coach you are and how well you understand your clients problems to hopefully bring you more clients in the way that this works is every week or every month you can set up the trigger to be whatever you like it will send a prompt to open ai to generate 10 pieces of content for you that are specific to your niche in fitness so you could say send me 10 unique fitness ideas for training powerlifting or send me 10 unique CrossFit workouts that I can make a TikTok video for and it will list off each of those 10. So it sends that prompt and then it will send an email to you once it's done and it's things like this, how to create create an effective personal training program tips uh, for getting the most out of your training sessions now this will be emailed to you every week so you won't have the excuse of forgetting to record content because it'll be sent to you so that is 10 unique zapier zaps that you can implement into your fitness business now if you found this helpful or you enjoyed it to some extent please send it with a coaching friend of yours hopefully they can get the same amount of value out of it see you again soon bye